Number three, find the component form and magnitude of a vector with initial point A and a terminal point B. Well, like we said in number two, anytime you see the words initial and terminal, you're going to take your terminal point and you're going to subtract it by the initial point. And so I take my terminal, which is negative 8, comma, negative 1, and I'm going to subtract by the initial point of negative 9, comma, negative 5. And so here, you can type this in the calculator like we did number 2, but negative 8 minus a negative 9, those two become positives. I'm just going to right now distribute that negative through here, and it changes all those to positives. I'll make my problem easier. Negative 8 plus 9 is 1, and then negative 1 plus 5 is 4. So this is the component form right here. Now to find the magnitude, that's the magnitude refers to the hypotenuse or the radius, whatever you want to call it. You take your x squared plus y squared to find your magnitude or your h squared. Okay, so my x is 1 squared, my y is 4 squared. That will equal my h squared here. So uh, 1 squared is 1 plus 16. That equals 17. Since h squared equals 17, the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 17. That right there is my magnitude. The symbol for magnitude is kind of like the absolute value symbol. And this is the vector was given by the points a, b. And the terminal was the b, so I put it second like that. This is the correct symbols for this. So that would be our answer here. Could we do this all in the calculator? You bet. So you come over here, we go, excuse me, let me click over there. Bracket, negative 8, comma, negative 1. And then we subtracted, bracket, negative 9, comma, negative 5. And we got that. And then if you convert it to polar, menu 7, C, 4. We convert it to polar. And that value right there is going to be the square, same thing as the square root of 17. So we can see those two match. So we did do it correctly.